would you be able to kind of give a quick summary uh, for those who know nothing what the red peel actually is? Do you know what I do? I don't do quick summaries. <laughs> <laughs> there is no, there is no, there is no elevator. Pitch Rolo Tomasi, what's the red pill? Hold on to your dicks. You're not going to go to pee anytime yes. soon. Okay, the red pill is is a, a, by my definition, anyways, is it's intersexual dynamics. It's understanding the evolutionary psychology, evolutionary biology, the anthropology, by the way, sociology, the psychology, the the po- you know political science. I mean, there's so many different subfields for the red pill. It's kind of hard to like like say this is it's about one thing. When people ask me for the summation, I just say this: it's about the it's a praxeology of intersexual dynamics it's understanding men's nature women's nature from a evolutionary perspective of evolutionary psychology biology all that stuff i just said and then how do those work together it's the praxeology of all of that and what i mean by praxeology is it's the study of human behavior in that human behavior has a purpose to it that's how it dovetails into evolutionary psychology to me that is the red pill, and it is cutting yourself away from this blue pill idea of all the things that you thought were the the old set of rules, and red pill is the new set of rules according to what we know now when it comes to all of the subfields that I told you about. And we're more aware of it now because we live in the age of the internet and we have access to studies. We have access to Dr. David Buss. We have access to books. We have access to all of the research data that everybody that we quote, we're connecting dots and some of them might be accurate and some of them aren't, but it creates what we call a predictive framework. And in that predictive framework, we say, this is the red pill. This is how we can create best practices. Some people take it and they turn it into black pill doomers, right? Other people such as myself and Mike, we say, you know what? You can live a better fucking life with this information and this, here's how we're going to do it. So it's how you're, it's one thing to have the data. It's another thing to interpret that data. I interpret data. He interprets data way differently than the people who want to say, oh, it's all doom or trad cons or whatever else. Those are prescriptions. I don't deal in prescriptions. I deal in descriptions. And that's really what the red pill is. It's descriptions. It's a database. It's what Ryan Stone has called the Chilton Manual of Human Nature. (laughs) That's the red pill. (laughs) Sound good, Ice? Yeah. The best part is when is when I, you know, do something on my program where I have a guy who's like five feet tall and Mm -hmm. he's surrounded by women. It's the black pill guys who have the hardest time with it because What, what, one of the things that happens specifically on my social media and with my clients is we disprove black pill. Like there's no, you can't go through my client's Instagrams or hang out with me at immersion or come to a bikini competition with me and then believe black pill is real. There's no possible way. It's unassailable truth. Looks, money, status do not equal everything. And so when you explain to a a Muslim person that there is no Muhammad, or if you explain to a Christian, there is no Jesus, they don't think you're, they don't shake your hand and say, thank you for the truth. They try to blow you up. They try to kill you. That's what happens when you try to explain to black pillars, looks, money status is a, is a partial description of female attraction, but not the whole thing. And then you prove it to them. They get very angry, extremely defensive. And they triple down. Michael pays for all these girls. Michael, it's easy because you're a club promoter, not a club promoter. Don't pay for these girls. It's very hard for them to deal with it. Um, you know, whenever Michael, obviously, you know, they're only hanging out with you because you're rich. I'm rich. I, when did I, when did I become rich? Like they, 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 they believe all this bullshit about you. And then, and then that's the only excuse that they can have for your success or for, and then when you show your client success, then they don't have any excuse and they're just fucking fucked. And it's very similar to when I have clients who have lots of excuses or a uh, victim mentality. And then I show them Nick Santo Nastasso, who was born without two legs and was born without his right arm. Or if I show them Zion Clark, who's a Paralympian and he's actually going to become an Olympic wrestler and he has no legs. When you see those guys and they strive and succeed, black pillars get, they go nuclear. They go nuclear because you've completely annihilated their safe. You know how they talk about some people want a safe space, you know, mm-hmm. black pill is a safe space for people who are failures. It's a safe, it's a warm coat. This is warm blanket of victimhood. And you take away their victimhood when you show them guys like Zion Clark, when you show them guys like Nick Stassen and Stasso, who who have been handicapped and then absolutely don't even fucking slow down and become millionaires because of it. 
That's that's when you really. That's why they don't like. Them. That's why they don't like. That's why they want to call me a PUA. I've never been a pickup artist in my life. Are you fucking kidding? I, or an MRA? Or they want to. They want convenient, predictable labels. They want to categorize you because it's easier for them to to dismiss what you're saying that crushes their ego investments and in what it is that they hope is going to be true for them. An ego investment is a belief. Uh, in a particular thing, it could be religion, it could be politics, it could be, especially when it comes to like intersexual dynamics, girls are this way, so I should act this way. And if I invest my ego into that belief, when somebody attacks that belief, they're not necessarily attacking the actual belief itself, they're attacking you because the personality is attached to that belief so intimately that they can't distinguish the two. So if you believe that the sky is purple and I say, no, the sky is blue. Here it is. Empirical evidence. It's irrefutable. Here it is right there. What that is, is not an attack on the, on the, on the sky being blue. It's an attack on me personally, because my, who my identity is, is intimately linked with the sky being purple. So therefore, when they see me or they see Mike or like, I get this from both ends, man. I get this from like guys who are trad cons and I get this from guys who are like black pill doomers. It's like, I can't be red pill because I'm married or I can't be married because I'm red pill or you're anti-marriage. No, I'm not anti-marriage. I'm anti the way that we do it now. I have to explain this over and over and over again. And the reason why I figured this out finally is the reason why I'm always explaining it over and over again is because it's a new person for whom when I say certain things or when Mike shows irrefutable evidence of a five foot five guy with girls like, or, you know, around him, here it is. What do you have to, you know, you can do this too. No, I can't. No, I can't. No, I can't. Right. And the reason, so that no, I can't part is I got to figure out a way why he's wrong or he's fucking me or he is tricking me because I know what he's showing me can't possibly be true. Because if it is true, then my belief is not only false, but I'm false too, because my identity is linked with that belief that all a five foot five guy couldn't get what he's got right there. That's why they're so violent. That's why they're so, they want to create six hour podcasts and call me a dickhead or him a dickhead or whatever. You buy those girls. There must be, there's got to be some outside reason that can't be what I believe. No, you're, you're just wrong. And you just need to readjust your belief set, man.